Stop. Stop, guys. Stop. Make sure you can hear me because this is important. There's a huge Merch Informer update that I want to tell you guys about. Now, I haven't done a video about Merch Informer in quite some time, so I wanted to share some exciting things that have happened over the past few months for those who might be on the fence and you're really looking to ramp up your Merch by Amazon business heading into Q4. Now, the first big announcement is that a few months ago, Merch Informer moved to a completely keyless version. If you've been using Merch Informer for a while and you set it up when they had to use all of these keys, you probably remember it being kind of confusing and complicated and kind of cumbersome to get set up when you're starting your free three-day trial. Well, now that it's completely keyless, you can just start your free three-day trial and get going right from the beginning. There is zero need for any associate, API keys, any of that stuff. The way that Merch Informer now communicates with Amazon is directly with the Amazon a database. Moving to a keyless version also means you no longer have to wait 20 or 30 seconds between searches. They are near instant. So Merch Informer is now easier and faster. So let's log in to Merch Informer and I'm going to walk you through some of the other updates to Merch Informer. Okay, there's two main upgrades I want to show you in the Merch Informer dashboard. The first one is over here under product search. Now you're going to notice how much faster this is, but let's search for uh, products. Let's search for goats make me happy. You see how fast the results come back. That's awesome. So it's going to show you the top results here. And there's a new little feature over here. It's a little backwards clock thing. It's going to show you the BSR or best sales rank and the price history. So when we click on this, we're going to have a nice little pop up here. Up here at the top, this is the price history. So if the seller of this shirt was raising the price or lowering the price, you would see that here. You can see this is consistent. They haven't changed the price on this. Now the graph is the sales rank or the best sellers rank or BSR. And as it doesn't sell, this is going to get higher. So you notice all these numbers are higher and higher, fewer and fewer sales or longer and longer amounts of time between sales and then as it spikes towards the bottom that means it's selling and the lower down here on the graph it goes the better that it's selling and then as it has periods of not selling it's going to drift 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 back up and then as it sells it's going to come back down and that's how you're going to read and interpret these graphs so you can see the price history and the best sellers history and as time goes on you're probably going to see some seasonality stuff in here where halloween shirts and christmas shirts they're being tracked and then you're going to see that surge in sales uh, when they are popular, when they are in season. So the next one that I want to show you is right here. It's the advanced competition checker. And let's put in uh, a search. Let's put in drunk lives matter. Now what this is going to do, Merch Informer is going to go find all of the listings on Amazon that have these keywords in the brand, in the title, in the features, and in the description. So you're going to see kind of what competition you have out there. And that's going to give you a score as well. So you come down here, see the total score of B because the number of products with this phrase in the title, 55, 69 in the features, 24 in description, and 22 using it straight up in their brand name. So it should be that you can rank pretty easy for using these keywords. So if someone's searching, they should be able to find your shirt. At least they're going to find it in the search results based on the competition. Uh, but I don't want you guys to be misled by that. Uh, sometimes there can be little false positives. It has like a good score, but just because it has a good score doesn't mean it's something you should be making listings for because it might be that not that many people are searching for it. So let's put in a different one. Let's put in Bigfoot. This is going to be something that's going to be pretty popular. You're going to see a lot of listings for this keyword in the brand title, features, and description. And of course, that's going to affect the total score. And we come down here, you see the total score of F because you have so much competition on this. Uh, in the title, over 500 shirts with this phrase in the title. Now, this can be a good sign. If it means that there's a lot of people looking for Bigfoot shirts, then there's going to be a lot of demand for it, but you're going to have to compete. So then you have to decide how you're going to compete. And you can come down here and look through some of the designs and say, you know what? I can make better designs than these. These really aren't that great. Or you know what? Mine can't compete with these. These are really great designs. This might not be some like a, a niche that I want to compete in, but you can also niche down. So you can say, okay, a lot of people are looking for Bigfoot, but what else can I add to it? What can I make different? You know, what can I do to be uh, more relative? And you see this first one up here at the top. They put a little trick or treat. They put the pumpkin. They put the jack o' lantern. It's obviously for Halloween. So you can still compete that way and say, ooh, yeah, I like this. So don't let that F fool you. Just understand where this com comes from. And then you can decide how you want to interpret that data and how you want to decide to compete either by design or by niching down on the product. 
And finally, and maybe I'm saving the best for last, Merch Informer just released a mobile app for both Android and iOS. It's not out for iOS yet, but they're expecting it to be out next week. By the time you're watching this video, it might already be out. And I'm gonna change the camera right now so that you guys can see exactly how this works. This is really cool, guys. Now the app is loaded up with a ton of free features, such as a free trademark check, free merch search, and a bunch of free great guides that you can use to extend your print-on-demand knowledge. Now, while these are free, if you have a Merch Informer account, you can make use of the Merch Hunter module, which shows you the top-selling shirts on Amazon at any given time, and you can use it to niche down and add favorites for designing once you get to your computer. So I'm gonna show you how to use the app right here. If you wanted to do a product search, keyword search, like a trademark search, you're gonna come up here, product search, and let's put in pandas and do a search so it's got keyword pandas trademark check is coming back unsafe but i can view all of the listings if i do this it's going to open a browser it's going to show you all of the merch by amazon listings with keyword panda then you can go back and if you wanted to you could save this keyword to your favorites i'm going to show you where you can go retrieve that so you can do that for any keyword that you want here my favorites you're going to see that i have favorite keywords here pandas and I also can put in my favorite t-shirts. I'm gonna show you where to find some favorite t-shirts. And if you favorite them, this is where they are going to end up. Uh, the merch guides right here, a ton of free guides, great reading. It's pretty much required reading if you wanna have some success with merch by Amazon. And right here, merch hunter, this is cool. So I've already got keyword happy in here. I can search the top 100 and I can search by rank one to 100,000. So let's search and see what comes back for that. And you see it brings back all of these listings. Now, if I click on any one of these listings, it's gonna open it up in a browser so I can see all of the details. I can also favorite it. So I can say, okay, add these to my favorites. Maybe I wanna get home and remember which ones I was looking at. So yeah, I wanna take a closer look. And if you press the little arrow here on the right side, it's gonna bring up the sales rank and the estimated sales. So you can say, okay, that one's selling enough that I'm interested in, or that one's not really selling very much. I'm not that interested in it and make a list. Really, really cool stuff. Now the Merge Hunter feature is only available if you have a Merge Informer account. So pretty cool updates to Merch Informer, don't you think? And there's been a lot of small improvements like adding historic data to the merchant and product search, moving items between different favorite categories. So make sure you go check all of those out as well. Well guys, I almost forgot, but I wanna make sure you know that if you use the code CG15, CG15, when you sign up for Merch Informer, you're gonna save 15%. And that's not just 15% one time, that's 15% every single month for life. So if you've been on the fence about Merch Informer, sign up, give it a try, use code CG15, you're gonna save that 50%.